Hello, everybody, wherever you may be. My name's Larry. My call sign's Kilo 7 Hotel November. I'd like to welcome you back to my shack here in Northwest Oregon. It's an early show and an early start. This is CQ Calling, powered by MFJ. This should be fun. This should be really fun. This is going to help to hopefully explain how Gray Line works. Right now in the Pacific Northwest where I live, we're really at the 45th parallel, which is halfway between the North Pole and the equator. So we've got a pretty good spot between the two, right? Thanks for the thumbs up already. Holy cow, you guys honor me. Thank you. Good morning. <laughs> good morning from Oregon. Hi, Jonathan. Good morning, buddy. Hey, happy new year, buddy. Okay, so let me show you real quick what it looks like. Let me turn this light off so you can see the glare. Right now, gray line is right here. So we're about, uh, right now, we're about 45 minutes from sunrise here in Oregon. And take a look here in the east. It's just coming into Europe. So we have a chance to make some pretty cool calls, possibly. How Gray Line works. Hi, Bergs from Sweden. Hopefully make a call to you as well. Now, the light's going to be odd because when I turn the light on so you can see me, unfortunately, when you see the geocron, the clock, it's got a glare on it. So we're going to try and, you know, Try and do the best we can to mitigate that problem, and I'll be putting the switch on and off. Hi, everybody. Good to see you. Happy Saturday. Today's 2nd of January, 2020. We ask you to please subscribe to the channel. We don't monetize it. We just want to teach ham radio. Today, we'll teach ham radio big, I hope. All right? Gray Line works in a very interesting way. Gray Line doesn't just work east to west. It doesn't just do that. In the wintertime, there's a 23 degree angle that goes southeast, all right? In the summer, it's the other way around, 23 degrees northeast. So when the sun first starts to come up, you'll start hearing signals come in out of the southeast from my location and from yours as well. Signals will start to come in stronger from the southeast first. And as the sun approaches, it will slowly start to creep up. That's how gray line works. That's how it works at sunrise. At sunset, it works the opposite. It goes more to the southeast at the end of gray line. And, well, actually, no, it goes the opposite around. And when you're coming, when it's coming this direction here, you're going to go southeast first and then finally northwest because that's where gray line does. It follows the shadow of the sun. That's essentially what it does. We should hear signals do that. That's how it should work. Berg says, I've got the Yagi and magnetic loop antenna today. We're working this to try and work Europe. That's our hope today. Because, you know, I don't take for granted, let me get this camera angled a little better. I don't ever take for granted the fact that we have so many folks that watch us from around the world. This is a chance to really work Europe and parts of Africa, possibly. We'll see. Not sure. We'll find out what happens. Last night, 40 meters was pretty bad, but according to propagation content, you know, all of the content I've looked at, it's probably the best. Okay. 20 has been stable. You know, if you want to work it, 20 is very stable. 40 for DX. That's probably best tonight, this morning. Sorry, on just a few hours of sleep. All right, so let's take a quick look again. There's the gray line map. We have a frequency, and we've got it open. We're at 7.183. So 7.183 megahertz is our frequency. We'll see how well it works. Berg says in Sweden, hope the new vacuum capacitor helps so I reach the West Coast. Me too, buddy. Me too. All right, let's get to the rig. Checking frequency availability. This is kilowatt seven hotel November. It was open. We are running the DX commander all band vertical at 30 feet. It is resonant at 40 meters right here. So we're solid at one kilowatt. In fact, I think we're running right about 1100 watts this morning. And we're going to let her rip. This is CQ calling. Powered by MFJ. Every, MFJ's got everything you need for your shack to make it really shine. So if you want to find some great products from antenna tuners to amplifiers, they've got them. MFJEnterprises.com is the place you look. Let's get this show on the road. 
CQ calling, CQ calling. This is Kilowatt 7 Hotel November. Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ calling from the Pacific Northwest of Oregon and streaming live on YouTube's Ham Radio Live. This is Kilowatt 7 Hotel November. Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ to any station anywhere and listening. Now, I don't expect a ton of activity to begin with. It will get going. It'll get going like anything. It takes time. But our signals from Oregon should first start to come from the southeast. Everything we receive should start coming southeast and slowly work their way north as gray line approaches. We are roughly 30 minutes from gray line here where I live. Okay, let's see how it works. Eric made his first DX ever, Germany on a POTA. Nice work. Congratulations, Eric, getting over the pond. Well done, buddy. That's great. All right, here we go. CQ calling, CQ calling. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November, Kilowatt 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ calling live on Ham Radio Live on YouTube and streaming to the world. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November, Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ on 40 meters and listening. Now, the current MUF, or maximum usable frequency, is right about 12 megahertz, okay, at Boulder, Colorado. 12 is, you know, quite a ways from 40, but it's not so far from 20. We may switch. We'll see what conditions do, okay? Again, again, station, please. This is Kilo 7, Hotel November. And we might have people walking over us. This could very well happen, and the reason for it is there are people whose signal come in, people's, you know, peop, other hams whose signal come in who normally we couldn't hear and they couldn't hear us because gray line. That's one of the things gray line does. All of a sudden it'll appear, wait, wait a minute. We were on frequency. Where's that signal coming from? That's gray line. CQ calling, CQ calling. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ calling? Live on Ham Radio, live on YouTube, and streaming to the world, this is Kilowatt 7 Hotel November. Kilo 7 Hotel November, calling CQ. CQ calling, CQ calling, any station, anywhere. We're calling from Kilo 7 Hotel November, and listening. Good morning, Gunter, in Germany. Looks like it's about sunset where you are getting close. Good time to work gray line. Like I said, folks, there will be people coming close on frequency. They can't hear us because the sun's going down or maybe it's going up where they are. But gray line changes things. So it's the way it is. CQ calling, CQ calling. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ calling from the Pacific Northwest of Oregon and streaming on YouTube about gray line propagation. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ on 40 and listening. Again, expect signals to come in from the southeast first and then slowly work their way up. The, the increase in S meters can be three to four for a very short time. See someone tuning up just above us. CQ calling, CQ calling, Kilo 7 Hotel November, Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ, CQ, any station, anywhere. We're live on Ham Radio Live on YouTube and we're streaming to the world about gray line propagation. This is Kilowatt 7 Hotel November calling CQ and listening. Hotel 
kilowatt radio zero echo five five here into oregon fine signal thank you very much for picking up the call my name's larry lima alpha romeo romeo yankee qth independence oregon about 65 miles southwest of portland and we're live on youtube doing a show on gray line propagation over KR0E, you got a good signal. It's solid and strong. I've had, um, I never had the 5000. I had the 6300. Flex makes great radios. You'll love it. And the kilowatts working good. So is the radio antenna. You're doing good, man. Sounding good. Good, uh, good modulation and uh, very, very good signal. No fade. No fade, which is very interesting. That's good. Well, Don, you're our first call here today. So I appreciate you picking up the call. I really do. Keep up the good work there, and thank you so much. I'll, uh, I'll uh, ask you if you will. We're on YouTube's Ham Radio Live. If you'd like to join the show, you can. We'll be on for about another hour, hour and a half doing Gray Line, but uh, I'll do my best to send you a copy of the show. I'll send you 73. Don, thank you so much in Boulder. Kilo Radio, Zero Echo, Kilo 7 Hotel, November. Happy New Year, man. God bless you. Okay, very good, Larry. Uh, nice to run into you again, and uh, I, I hope to... Uh yeah, I hope to assemble across that uh, YouTube, live, YouTube live show. So, 73, uh, best of the new year. Uh, it's going to be a better year than last year, for sure. <laughs> Kilo 7 Hotel November, Kilowatt Radio, Zero Echo is clear. Kilo 7 Hotel November, thanks, Don. We are QRZ. Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ, CQ calling any station anywhere from the Pacific Northwest of Oregon, live on YouTube's Ham Radio Live. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November, Kilowatt 7 Hotel November, calling CQ to any station anywhere and standing by. Yeah, try to get this. It's a tight juggling act right now, Gunter, because of time, where you are and where I am. So that means I get up real early <laughs> to do the show to try and make it to see if we can get to Europe. That's what we're trying. First call from the southeast. CQ, CQ, this is Kilo 7, Hotel November, Kilowatt 7, Hotel November, calling CQ. CQ, CQ on 40 meters. We're live on Ham Radio Live on YouTube and streaming to the world. We'd love to make a call with you. This is Kilo 7, Hotel November, Kilowatt 7, Hotel November, calling CQ on 40 meters and standing by. The current maximum usable frequency, when I, when I first checked today, the MUF was just over 12. MUF now is right about the same. So it's over Boulder, Colorado here where we do it in the United States. Interesting how it is around the world. We'll get into that. It changes depending upon where it's sunlight. CQ calling, CQ calling. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ, CQ, live on Ham Radio Live on YouTube. This is Kilowatt 7 Hotel November calling CQ on 40 and listening. And we're right about the time where we can make the switch. In Boulder, right now, the MUF has went up to 15.54. Right about the maximum usable frequency is where you're going to make some DX calls. We are going to go QSY to 20 at this point. Kilo 7, Hotel November, QSY to 20 meters. Now, you might ask why, because it's going to be quiet 
it's going to be very quiet on 20 because we're in the dark still here. That's why. Now we're going to pick a frequency because we're close at, four, at uh, current MUF 15.54. We're going to see signals improve tremendously and we're going to start hearing them. A few moments, there were no signals. There was nothing at all on, four, on 20 meters, zero. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this up to about 14 to 50, let's say to 14 to 60, okay? 14 to 60. We'll change the amplifier. Stephen, look at that. Hi there, Steve, from a very wet Plymouth, United Kingdom. Yeah, 97% humidity in Germany. Wow. Yeah, it's cold. It's wet here, too. It's a really rainy morning here. Real early. Sun not up yet. Let's try 20. 20 has the longest gray line of all frequencies. It's right dead center in the HF band. It tends to work just before, when, still when it's dark, and it can go all the way into the light for about an hour. Let's see how 20 does. It has been more stable. Let's see 20 meters. Is this frequency available? This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Oh my goodness, that's nasty RF. Wow. I've got to find a way to shield this just to make it not do this. In fact, what we're going to do, we're going to change frequencies because I noticed on a different frequency yesterday, we did not have this problem. I'm going to stay away from the from the fives and zeros. We'll go to 12. So be at 14, 312. Is this frequency available? This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Even worse. Terrible. Just terrible. And I'd like to find, there is a spot where we didn't really have any RF feedback at all. It was really pretty simple. Is this frequency available? Kilo 7 Hotel November. Okay, now this is good. Bergs in Sweden can hear. Hang on, let's go back over to 40 then, because if he's hearing us in Sweden, that's a good sign. Is this frequency available? This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. I like it because there's no RF. We have no RF. So, sorry to jump around. Is this frequency available? This is Kilowatt 7 Hotel November. Oh, I see. Okay, Westport, Maine, Bay of Fundy, 3-3 three, three here in one kilowatt. Okay, okay, I got you, Bergs. I got you. See, when you work gray line, let me kind of explain this the best way I can. Gray line is a time where wherever the sun is coming up is where your signals come in first from. Look at it that way. If you ever look straight east or straight west, right at the beginning of winter or the beginning of summer, you'll notice when the sun's coming up, it's coming up, it appears, from the north or the south, depending upon the time of year, right? Now, when you're dealing with gray line, it works the same way. The signals come from where the light is coming from first. Then as the light fills in the rest of the sky, the signals will come in from those directions as well. That's how gray line works. Now, we have some interesting conditions, so we'll see how it goes today. Let's get back to the rig, okay? 40 seems to be the best number to use, although I'm not so sure here. We're a little, little tight on 40 and too loud on 20. I don't like the feedback on 20. Kilo 7 Hotel November testing, testing equipment. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Okay, I'm not getting any feedback with that. All right, 20 has the longest stability for, 20 has the longest stability. Whoops, sorry guys, let me go back. Kilo 7 Hotel November, we're QSY to 20 meters. There. Legal and good, legal and good. All right, let's try lower on the band, perhaps lower. In fact, let's go where we're resonant, 14 to 25. We should be dead center right here. All right. Is this frequency available? This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Wow. Big numbers of the amp. Enough that I've got to back it off a little bit more. Like, not well, not too much. Not too much. 
Let's go a little bit lower. In fact, no. Uh, the cool, the, 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 what you do with, with MUF, MUF, you tune as close as you can to MUF for the best propagation. It's how it works. So when you're going to use maximum usable frequency, okay, a good rule of thumb is try and work as close as you can to that frequency. We'll be at 14340. It's against my normal rule to be on a zero, but we'll try it. So we are at 14340. This is frequency available. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November, Kilowatt 7 Hotel November. I can mitigate that a little bit. We'll try. Checking frequency availability. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November, Kilowatt 7 Hotel November. And we shouldn't hear much to start with. It should be real slow. Again, gray lines coming from the south and east. South and east. Takes a while to work its way north into Europe. Hang in there. 18% might gain 3 dB process. Yeah, well, we run different systems, Gunter. Completely different, buddy. I'm sorry, completely different. I'm running radio processing here, and it just gets into the XLR lines. That's what it does. Yeah, it just works that way. It's hard. It's, it's difficult to describe unless you see it. CQ calling, CQ calling. This is Kilowatt 7 Hotel November. Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ calling, CQ calling. We're live on Ham Radio Live on YouTube, streaming to the world. Kilo 7 Hotel November, Kilo 7 Hotel November. Calling CQ to any station, anywhere, and listening. Don't expect a tremendous amount yet. It will come. Gunter says the Heil HMM mic, which he uses there, uh, it's a burner. He likes the mic a lot, which is cool. We all find our microphones that we like, and that's really a sweet mic. Very cool, Gunter. That's awesome, man. CQ calling, CQ calling. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ calling, Kilo 7 Hotel November listening. CQ calling, CQ calling, Kilo 7, Hotel November listening. Oh, I see the problem. All right, let me do this. We're going to go to where more activity typically is because more activity is typically right down in this area of the band. Is this frequency available? This is Kilo 7, Hotel November. I don't like doing this because 20 takes about an hour to warm up, and we started early for a reason. Don't forget it. You know what? We're just going to stake our claim. Ham radio is about learning. There are three L's I use, and I think it was used once in the channel, LLL. How I look at this when I'm going to work gray line or do DX is look, learn, then listen, okay? First thing you do is you look at propagation. You look at the forecast from not only your area but from other areas in the world. You can do that. Check their MUFs. There's maps out there where you can see MUFs from around the world. That's number one. The second thing is learn it. Learn what's happening on the bands. Take a look at clusters. See what the clusters are doing. From there, you listen. Turn your radio on. Listen to it. See what you're hearing and where it's coming from. That will help you determine a frequency. And I think even though 40 was rough last night, and I think that, you know, it's a little bit hard. I think right now... Into Europe, 40 is our best bet. We're going to have to do it, okay? Good morning, Carl. Good morning to you. 14,225. Yeah, I think we're good. We are going to stick with this. I think rest of the show. We'll be at 7183. 7183 is right about gray line in Europe right now. So as the, the geochron is showing here off in the distance, you can kind of see how the shadow of the map is coming in right now into France and Germany. Heading towards Spain in the UK. All right. 
Checking frequency availability. This is Kilo 7, Hotel November. Our CQ calling, CQ calling. This is Kilo 7, Hotel November. Kilo 7, Hotel November, calling CQ. CQ calling, CQ calling from the Pacific Northwest of Oregon and streaming on Ham Radio Live on YouTube. This is Kilowatt 7, Hotel November. Kilo 7, Hotel November, calling CQ. CQ, CQ, any station, anywhere. Kilo 7, Hotel November, calling CQ and listening. 726 here. We are roughly 20, 25 minutes from Gray Line. That's from Sunrise. So 20, 25 minutes from Sunrise. So we're not, not far, but we're really good on Europe. And working along the Gray Line is where things can really get cool. So let's see what happens today. Gray Line sunset right now in Europe. Sunrise coming here in the west coast of the U.S. This is a magical time, my friends. CQ calling, CQ calling. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ calling, CQ calling. Live on Ham Radio, live on YouTube and streaming to the world. This is Kilowatt 7 Hotel November calling CQ and listening. And you will find that signals will come up dramatically. I mean big. They'll come up very, very big and very quickly, all right? They'll come up to the point that they'll be noticeably loud, but it'll only be for a short period of time. Maybe 10 could be less. If you're in a high band, it could be two or three minutes. 160 or 80 could be two or three minutes. Again, again, is there a station in the background? This is K7HN, Oregon. Okay, on the high bands, 160, 80, it can be maybe a minute, two minutes, three minutes on 160. On 40, sorry, on 80, it can be 5 to 10, 15 minutes at a time. On 40, it can go for about an hour to a little after an hour. Signals will peak from an area and then they'll slowly drop off. And then they go northward. In the winter, in the summer, they will start from the northeast and they will start to fade to the south. That's how gray line works. So gray line propagation, the time when the D layer hasn't charged yet or isn't charged enough yet. And the F layer is still real high and real charged up in the dark area and the light area. It's wide open, still there, but there's enough stability. The brilliant thing is when you work right along the gray line. Now, this is why we've done it so early this morning. Take a look. Here's the shadow. Right now, the shadow's going right into France, right into France, okay? So we're really hitting gray line. Let's see how it works. You can make a call right over that line. CQ calling, CQ calling. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ calling, CQ calling. This is Kilowatt 7 Hotel November live on YouTube's Ham Radio Live calling CQ on 40 meters and listening. See the short Kilo wave. Whiskey six, whiskey, whiskey delta. The Southern California ward. Good to hear your voice. Five nine here into Oregon. How's my signal sound this morning down there? Uh, Larry, good morning. Good morning. Uh, I got you about a oh, about a four by four. Uh, bands are in real good shape down here. Four by four. I heard you uh, spinning the dial. Uh, just want to say good morning. Let you know you are making it down in Southern California, QSL. QSL Ward, thank you so much. It's always good to hear from you, man. Happy New Year, Ward. How'd the grandkiddos do for Christmas? They have a good day. Oh, Roger, Roger. Well, you came up there, Larry, 5758. So uh, have a great show, and uh, we'll, we go. we'll speak real soon. Uh, Kilo 7 Hotel November for Whiskey 6, Whiskey, Whiskey Delta 73. Whiskey 6, Whiskey, Whiskey Delta 73 from Kilo 7 Hotel November, buddy. God bless you. Thanks for the help and for coming on the show. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November, QRZ. See, he's south of me, but if you take a look at the map, 
Where Ward is, is Ward's here. He's already in daylight. We're still in darkness. Total darkness here. All right. CQ calling, CQ calling. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ calling, CQ calling. Live on Ham Radio Live on YouTube and streaming to the world about gray line propagation. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ and listening. So the frequency generals can use... We're at a frequency that uh, UK and Europe can use. And we'll see what happens. Just because we're doing this doesn't mean it works. It means that it can work. Again, again, there's a station way out there in the fade. Let me try and pull you in. This is Kilowatt 7 Hotel November. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm not surprised, Lee. I'm not surprised. Gray line works from when where it's, the sun's coming up. It starts to the, um, excuse me, to the southeast in the winter. So you're about due east, maybe a little northeast of me. We will make that call. It will come in. Now, Ryan, that surprises me because you are southeast, and I you say you can hear me but can't understand you in Louisiana, down in the noise. Okay, that can happen. CQ calling, CQ calling, Kilo 7 Hotel November, Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ calling, CQ calling. We're live on Ham Radio Live on YouTube, streaming to the world, and we'd love to make a call with you. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November, Kilowatt 7 Hotel November calling CQ and listening. Yeah, Kilo 7 Hotel November. This is Kilo 71. Romeo Oscar November. Is that Kilo Charlie 1 Romeo Oscar November? Roger, Roger. Kilo Charlie 1 Romeo Oscar November. Name here is Ron. Romeo Oscar November. QSL Ryan, thank you very much for the call. Nice to, nice to pick you up. 5555 here into Oregon. My name's Larry, Lima Alpha, Romeo, Romeo, Yankee. My QTH is Independence, Oregon, located about 30, about 65 miles southwest of Portland. We're streaming live on Ham Radio Live on YouTube right now, and you've got a fine signal. What are you using there, Ryan? Right? Well, I'm using a Yosu uh, Very nice. Nice equipment, Ryan. That's great equipment, and I love that radio. That's a shack in the box, isn't it? My goodness, buddy. Hey, I, 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 my father-in-law has one of those, and I love it. I really do. Ryan, thank you so much for being part of the show. It's on Ham Radio Live on YouTube if you want to catch the stream live. We have people from all over the world launching right now. Kilo Charlie 1, Romeo Oscar November in Las Vegas. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November in Oregon wishing you the very best. And God bless you, pal. Yeah, Kilo 7 Hotel November. Nice to meet you. I'm going to say hello. And uh, uh, enjoy the rest of the day, guys. From Kilo Charlie 1, Romeo Oscar November, Las Vegas, 73. 73 to you, Ryan, and thanks for being a part of the show. This is Kilo 7, Hotel November, QRZ. Until I moved up the span on the freak on the uh, on the display for a reason. I'll explain why. Because if there's anybody that's shooting any RF close to me, I can try and tune in on it at a closer frequency span. That's why I do it. Icoms are real easy to deal with. See this one here? Okay. Very close. But we're, we're you know, it's three kilohertz away. So we're still fine. CQ calling. CQ calling. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ. 
CQ calling, CQ calling. This is Kilowatt 7 Hotel November, Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ on 40 meters and standing by. Actually, Lee, we're, we're really good. Again, again, station, please. QSL, net on 185. Thank you so much. Where are you located? Just curious. All right. Thank you very much. We're doing a show on Gray Line to show people how it works. I appreciate your help. Thank you. We'll move down. Kilo 7 Hotel November, QSY. There we go. So we'll move down one, which we can do. We still have the spot. Lee, you asked about reflected power. Let me show you real quick my SWR here on this. Here's where we're at. Everything is about 1.2 to 1, so we're good. In fact, I'm running no tuner for this amplifier. It's, it's fully resonant. We're good. It does look like it moves, though. No question. It looks like it moves because it does. But what happens is, again, it's showing the SWR on these red arcs that come up. It's right about 1.3 to 1.5 to 1, which is just fine. Is this frequency available? This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. We're literally right next to a person, but we should not be hurting them at all. CQ calling, CQ calling. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ calling, CQ calling. This is Kilowatt 7 Hotel November. Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ on 40 meters and standing by. Really now, just about over the top of us, we have right about, we have about 10 minutes still till sunrise, legal sunrise here. So we should start to see everyone from the east of us come in. Italy calling, really? That'd be awesome. Let's see if we can make the call. CQ calling, CQ calling. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ calling, CQ calling. This is Kilowatt 7 Hotel November. Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ on 40 and standing by. Look at the last numbers, Lee. You know, look at the last numbers on the app. Yeah, it is a little high. It is a little high for this because it's it's a good antenna. The, the resonance is there. So that means I've got to make an ALC adjustment here. Thanks for letting me know, buddy. Lee, thanks for your call. Let me just make sure we're better here on that. Lee, thanks for noticing. CQ calling, CQ calling. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ and listening. Make another adjustment. CQ calling, CQ calling, Kilo 7 Hotel November, Kilo 7 Hotel November, calling CQ on 40 and standing by. CQ calling, CQ calling, this is Kilowatt 7 Hotel November, Kilo 7 Hotel November, calling CQ. CQ calling, CQ calling from the Pacific Northwest of Oregon. 
and streaming on YouTube. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November, Kilowatt 7 Hotel November calling CQ on 40 meters and listening. Oops. Okay. So, in essence, what we have is not really a problem that's ours or anybody's. It's just conditions and how things are. It doesn't mean things don't work well. Some people have directional antennas, which can really mitigate a lot of the issue. It makes a huge difference. So, we're good. <laughs> Hams are always good. You have a little RF in your audio. Okay. Well, thanks, Hugo. Really? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I got like four hours sleep. Here you go. Yeah, I know. I've, I've talked about that a lot. We're running a kilowatt. We're also using uh, audio gear here that is radio quality analog gear. So because of that, we've got a little bit of RF that comes in from a kilowatt amplifier over there. Sorry, that happens. So, yeah, we know all about that. But thanks for watching the show. We appreciate it. I wasn't trying to be doofy to you. I was like, no kidding, really? Okay, thanks, Hugo. Thanks for opening up the obvious. Yep, okay. So, wide open on CW. Yeah, well, you know, Kev, it would be. Absolutely. CW is good. Low frequency modes are good. You take a look at most DX clusters. Everything's FT8 right now. Everything is FT8. Look at this. There's my... Hey, Clint, you're here, man. That's my buddy, Clint, in the UK. Man, he's he's a guy that loves DX. And, and he is really... He's a good friend. I love Clint. If you want any information on receivers, quality stuff... He tests them. Clint is one of those guys. Let me get him up here. It's Oxford shortwave log. And yeah, he lives in Oxford, England. So Clint does some great stuff. My wife, Clint, got me. You remember when I had to sell that radio and I was so sad that my wife got me one for Christmas. I was, I was so excited. It has to sit on the shelf. It has to because I, I hate to sell that radio. So yeah, it's a later serial number one too. Yeah. So it's one of those things. It sounds like some RF. It doesn't come out really bad on the air so you know hugo it doesn't sound bad on the on the air it actually what it is because of the rf that's coming in it's getting on these mic cables and it just creates rf it's one of those things so thank you for understanding and, I, and i'm sorry it does bother you i know it bothers me like crazy i'm a, I'm a broadcast professional for gosh sakes i had to do this to put money on my table so i mean put food on my table so doing it on youtube is fun because i can do what i want but when you have to do it to earn your living, it's a totally different thing. So, yeah, thanks for your kindness. I appreciate understanding. Clint is one of the greatest guys. He's got a great YouTube channel. Find him at Oxford Shortwave Log right here on YouTube. You'll love his content. He checks out everything. Clint, all I have left is my Sony 100 and my uh, Texan 880. By the way, how's that new Texan doing? It looks pretty sharp. It looks pretty sharp. I go left T990 hooked up. I'm at uh, 7182, and I would love to get a Wellbrook. I'm still working on the Wellbrook. That's something I should get is a Wellbrook receive loop. I've had too many, and they've been moved off. We're at 7182, 7182, right about gray line. So thanks for being here, Clint. That's an honor to me to see Clint here. That means a lot. Not that you guys all don't matter. All of you guys matter to me. You know that. Thank you for being here. Happy New Year to all of you. Thank you. Clint is an old buddy, and to him, for him to be here means a great deal. Clint, happy new year to you and your family, buddy. Happy new year, buddy. All right, let's go back to the rig. We'll try a couple more times. We're going to move to 40 because, I'm sorry, to 20 because 20 will change things. It will be much more stable. Here we go. Final CQ call. CQ calling, CQ calling. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ calling, CQ calling. Live on Ham Radio, live on YouTube. This is Kilowatt 7 Hotel November. Kilo 7 Hotel November. Calling CQ. CQ calling. CQ calling. Calling CQ to any station anywhere. On 40 and listening. Okay. So Clint will make one more call on 40. We're going to bounce to 20 because it will be a lot easier. CQ calling, CQ calling, Kilo 7, Hotel November, Kilo 7, Hotel November, calling CQ. CQ calling, CQ calling, live on Ham Radio, live on YouTube. This is Kilowatt 7, Hotel November, calling CQ on 40 meters and listening. I'm looking at the MUF and I got confused on numbers. 
Uh, thanks, Clint. That means a lot. That does. Clint from from UK. Good friend. Good friend. He is a guy. Follow his channel, please. He's really good. Clint is Clint is brilliant. Clint did does what I do and have done for 48 years now, and that is DX shortwave and medium wave. He's awesome at it. Clint is amazing. All right, we're going to make the hop. We're going to go to 20. 20 will make gray line last longer. If you really love gray line opportunity, 20 will work longer. We're also going to start seeing some signals pop up. Current MUF, I've just refreshed this, the, um, just literally refreshed this, um, this forecast. The MUF now over Boulder is at, I uh, just lost it. It won't, <laughs> you ever, your screen just kind of stops for a moment and it like loads the rest. Yeah. Yeah, that's me right now. So uh, the MUF is at 1737. It's went up two, two in just literally, oh gosh, two minutes? No, 10, 10 minutes. So that's what daylight does. All right, we're going to take off the lock on the rig. Something I do, and, and this is not the wrong way or the right way to do things. I will try and go near digital mode. I will try and go near someone else that's got a good signal. And the reason I do that is because people will hunt there for a waterfall. And those are FT8s. Or digital, sorry. There's something right here. Looks like somebody right here. Probably at 50. See, 20's coming alive now. Okay, good. So 20's coming alive. So we're going to go down to 14246. 14246 megahertz. So just, you know, so if you've got your, your radios there, 14246. Let's see how we do it. Move my amplifier to 20 meters. Just one second. Okay, here we go. Again, 14246 is the frequency. Let's give it a shot. We're right at sunrise here now. This is frequency available. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Again, sorry for the loud noise for the RF. It's terrible. And uh, and I'll mitigate that. Forgot to do that on that last call. We'll get there. It's a work in progress. We're waiting for the K4 to arrive. Just hang in there. The good days are coming. Hang in there, my friends. We're getting there. <laughs> CQ calling, CQ calling. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November, Kilowatt 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ calling, CQ calling, live on Ham Radio, live on YouTube. This is Kilowatt 7 Hotel November, Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ calling, CQ calling, Kilowatt 7 Hotel November calling CQ on 20 meters and listening. Somebody. Again, again, please. Station, I'm having a hard time pulling you in, but I'll work with you if you would. Give me your call sign three times phonetically and slowly. I'd be happy to work with you. This is Kilo 7, Hotel November. Is that you, Clint? Is that you, Clint? Sean, I'll tell you in a moment on that. It's a great question. Yeah. MUF's on the front page of QRZ. There's other places to find it, too. Great question by Sean. Yep, good question. All right, let's try again. CQ calling, CQ calling. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilowatt 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ calling, CQ calling. We're live on Ham Radio, live on YouTube, streaming to the world. We'd love to make the call with you. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilo 7 Hotel November. Calling CQ on four, uh, 20 meters and listening. Ah. Uh, 
see why I'm glad you're here, Clint, is because if anyone can hear me, it'll be you because of your receiver and your loop. It's going to make a huge difference. Clint, funny story. You'll like this. When I first came here, one of the first videos I did was on using a loop antenna for receive. Dedicated receive antenna, use a loop. It will help you because it's going to lower the noise floor. Oh my gosh. You'd, you'd feel like I literally created, like, I don't know, like I blew up a church or something. A lot of hands went crazy on that because they just couldn't figure out, well, that's sacrilege. No, I don't need a loop. That's just a waste of money. <laughs> a loop antenna is a receive antenna. That's how you use them. Use your loop as your receive antenna. Use your vertical or your dipole or your directional. Well, directional, that's a different story. But vertical or dipole, use that as your transmit. But the loop is going to help you receive better because it lowers your noise floor. That's how they've always worked. So, yeah, Clint, you wouldn't believe how that worked. Yep. Can't hear you in Louisiana. Okay. No copy in uh, UK. Happy New Year to you, too. And thank you so much, Anders. Nice guy. I said, a dream I had a ham radio. Aww. Anders, we'll get you there, man. Hey, hold on. Let me turn this down. Anders, look. The reason I, I'm here, the reason why I do this channel, and the reason why so many people come, like wonderful people, like Clint. Clint is one of the best DX people in the entire world. I know that. I can tell you that for sure because I've watched his work for years. Clint is Clint's one of the best. Want to know about how to pick up stations, receive better? Talk to Clint. Clint's the best man there is in the world. That's as far as I'm concerned. He knows he's used all the radios. I mean, he's used much the same radios I've used from the Transoceanics to the 2010 back here to the uh, Panasonic and uh, geez, what is it? Clint, what are some of the other ones? Geez, we've used Texans now and Grundig's and now Grundig is not Grundig anymore. Anyway, lots of changes, but yeah, lots of folks. Listen, he's a good one. Follow him. You'll like him. Uh, Gunter in Germany uses the rain gutter as an antenna. And you know what? Yes. Absolutely. No problem with that. Clint says, I've been trying to educate the other hams in my club slowly. They're coming around to the idea of RX loop with an active. Yeah, it makes such a difference. Use the loop for your RX antenna. Use your vertical or dipole for transmit. You'll be solid. It just makes such a difference. Why? Because your noise floor goes down. And then those signals come in better because you can hear them better. And then some that you didn't see because or didn't hear because the noise was too high, they come in because you're using an RX loop. That makes all the difference in the world. Let's get back to the rig real quick. We'll see what we can do on 20. 20 lasts longer on gray line. It always does. CQ calling. CQ calling. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilowatt 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ calling, CQ calling, Kilo 7, Hotel November calling CQ and listening. And we just had an amplifier go down. Hang on. Sorry about that. Let me try again. Let me take a close look at it too. Kilo 7, Hotel November calling CQ. It's a little bit high, about 1.3. Yeah. Let me check real quick. We're like 1.2. We're good. I mean, we're good. We're good. We are good. We moved the VFO, didn't we? Of course we did. we? I don't think we moved the VFO. No, we didn't. There we go. Sorry. We'll just pick up that frequency. All right, here we go. We'll go another few rounds, see how we do. CQ calling, CQ calling. This is Kilowatt 7 Hotel November. Kilowatt 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ calling, CQ calling, live from the Pacific Northwest in Oregon and streaming on Ham Radio Live on YouTube. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November, Kilowatt 7 Hotel November, calling CQ to any station, anywhere, and listening. Yes, 14246, Clint. Yep. Yep. It's right. Greg, Kilo Fox Zero, Charlie Union Zulu, welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's on hemstudy.org on my other jet. Yep, you're going to get it. You're going to get it. Hey, Greg, you're going to get that. You're going to get that license. 
you are. We're going to help you. Let me know in the comment section, Greg, anything you're struggling with, whether it be schematics or something else. Let's see what we can do to help you get that license up, okay? I mean that. CQ calling, CQ calling. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ calling, CQ calling. Live on Ham Radio, live on YouTube and streaming to the world. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ on 20 meters and standing by. And again, ham radio, I've said it before, if you've got a directional, it makes a huge difference. Buy a directional first, buy that antenna first, then go down, buy your radio feed line after you do that, okay? No copy in Oxford, unfortunately. Well, you know what, Clint, thank you for trying. What a treat. What an honor and treat it is to have you here. I've been watching Clint's stuff for years. Clint's a neat guy. Yeah, I love Clint because Clint understands radio and he understands DX. We, we share the same stuff. I mean, you know, Wellbrook loops, uh, going to loop antennas, running along wires and beverages and all of that, and then running it through, a, you know, just a little portable radio, going in the middle of nowhere and hooking up a radio and listening. We've done it, and that's what we do. Clint is really good at it, does a great YouTube show on it. Learn a lot about uh, DX and RX from Clint. He's a good guy. Trust, trust him with all my heart. He's one of the good ones out there. Last calls, okay? CQ calling, CQ calling. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ, CQ, any station anywhere from the northwestern part of Oregon. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ on 20 meters and listening. Again, again, please. It's going to be a juggling act. Hang in. Okay, I've got a two and a, it sounds like a Papa X-ray. Is that right so far, QSL? Okay, just want to make sure I've got it right here. Is it Kilo Echo 2 Romeo Papa X-ray, QSL? Delta, Kilo Delta, good, okay. All right, Kilo Delta 2, Romeo, Papa, X-Ray, Kilo 7, Hotel November, QTH is Independence, Oregon, about 65 miles southwest of Portland. You're about a 5-4 here in Oregon. Nice signal. My name's Larry Lima, Alpha, Romeo, Romeo, Yankee, and you're live on YouTube's Ham Radio Live Show, calling about gray line propagation. Over. So we got a lot of fade here, and I've got three. I'm gonna need three hands to do the show right now, so I apologize, apologize for the dead air there. Uh, I've got your call sign is Kilo Delta Two Romeo Papa X Ray, and I've got you at a five four five three, and then it kind of zips down to about a three three here into Oregon. So nice signal, thank you so much. I'll give you a seventy three from Oregon, Kilo Delta Two Romeo Papa X Kilo Seven Hotel November. All the best. From the Northwest, Kilo 7 Hotel, November, QRZ. Great antenna. Like that at 1786. 10 meters, 4, 3, and 10? Wow. Seriously, Bergs, you do amazing work, man. You do. On 10. Jeez. That's really good stuff. Really good stuff. Hold on. I try and keep along, but when you need three hands to do it, that's not good. That's from New Jersey. That's John from New Jersey. Grateful that he joined the show. Thank you, John. That's Kilo Delta 2, Romeo Papa X-Ray from New Jersey. So that makes sense. Due east now, it is sunrise. 
Kilo 7 Hotel November Final CQ Call CQ CQ Kilo 7 Hotel November Kilowatt 7 Hotel November Calling CQ on 20 meters and standing by All right, let's take a look just for fun. What we'll do is we're gonna we're gonna change the the uh, rig. Hang on, let me change antennas. Okay, so this is gonna require just a little bit extra work, but we'll make it happen. We'll make it happen. We got up early. Let's make it happen. So. What Berg said is that 10 meters is really good. He's working Newfoundland. Let's see what 10 meters looks like. 10 is such a big frequency. It is. 10 is just ginormous. A lot of people love 10 meters. So. Hold on a second here. I'm trying to remember on this. Here we go. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Where's the preamp on the 7300 again? <laughs> it's been so long since I've had one of these. It's been a long time. Been a long time. Just taking a quick listen on 10. Burbs made a nice call to Newfoundland. And Gunter had mentioned earlier, check the beacons. Yes, beacons are really good at letting you know where you're working. The beacons this morning when I checked them were really quiet. That concerned me a little bit, but what can you do? All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Go to 17. Oops, 17. Hang on. <laughs> again, change antennas again. Okay, hang on. So we'll try 17. We'll see how 17 does. 17, we do pretty good. So it is tuned right here. The radio is literally tuned. The antenna, I should say, is tuned right there. 18, 135. That's where we're literally almost one zero to one. Okay. Let me check real quick before we go any further. Jeez. Hold on. We're in some, something's either wrong or we've got the different antenna. Hang on. That is not this antenna. Hang on. No, that's not good. Okay, so that tells us there is a problem outside with the antenna. And it could be, it very well could be. Um, we have had a tremendous amount of rain, and it has been really stormy here. So could be a little bit of issue going on with the antenna out there. And that could be the problem. So good catch earlier about the, uh, the SWR coming up a little bit. So uh, we go to 20, and 20 still rock solid. We're good on 20, no problem. 20, we're, we're well yeah, we're good on 20. The uh, problem is, is that we get into, we get into, uh, you know, that 17 meter band is like, it's crazy. So yeah, a little bit of issue going on there with the, um, with the antenna. So we'll take a look at that. When it's drier. Not, not, not now. Yeah, not now. 
So on 40, we're, we're really good on 40, really good. So I'll show you the numbers here real quick on 40. So 40 is, come on, go over there. Go over there, little buddy, little buddy. Do a little switch in the unit. Do my switch. There you go. There you go. So we're at 14.182. So we're about 1.3 to 1. About 1.3. Not bad. Now, that'll work. Okay, so we're going to cut the show short because we're already at one hour and five, and that's a long time. Let me let me just kind of mark. I want to. I do want to go up. Jay, happy new year to you too from New Jersey. Thank you. He's Kilo Delta Two Romeo Papa X Ray. Made the call to him. What a joy to reach New Jersey this morning. Thank you, Jay. This show really was about Gray Line, and and there's no way. Let me just say this real quick. My ice bag keeps on messing up. Just a second. Mm. Okay. There's no way to really guarantee a great gray line show right now. And nothing thumbs up. You guys, you guys honor me beyond belief. Thank you. Right now, literally, I've got one hand here on my high parametric. I've got one on the radio. I've got one on the amplifier. I'm checking the tuner and making sure that I'm not missing anything. And I've missed some of your comments. And I'm sorry about that. I will get to them, I promise. But I do want to let you know, it can be challenging. But gray line is your best friend in ham radio. It is because you can work great signals along the gray line, but it doesn't mean you're necessarily going to work them. Propagation makes a difference. Geomagnetic activity, if the numbers are high, it's going to be tough. Now, the auroras are going to go up. For sure, you can work the auroras on VHF, but if you're working, you know, towards, you know, DX, maybe not so good. Geomagnetic can have a problem with it. But gray line propagation, especially along that gray line, is brilliant. Is just brilliant. So please keep in mind, gray line typically, wherever it works in, in the world, is the same. It's always the same. Let me move you back to the rig cam that will show you the, the, the gray line map real quick on the Geochron. Wherever you are, wherever the sun is coming up, okay, wherever you see the sun coming up, from where I'm at right here, okay, I'm seeing the sun first coming up in the sky this way. This is the direction I'm seeing the sun come up, okay? Because that's where the sun is. The sun is literally right there. This is where it's 12 noon right now. It's 12 noon right in southern Bolivia and right over Uruguay. So literally, that is 12 noon, okay? So the sun is coming up from here. As the seasons change, the sun starts coming up from a different direction. It comes more east at the equinox winter, sorry, when at the spring and at the fall equinox, that's when we're going to see things, at least from my area, which is the 45th parallel. It runs pretty well, little, still a little bit to the, to the south and east, but not bad. But boy, when it gets to be summer, all of a sudden it's way up here to the northeast and at night, way up here to the northwest. So that's how gray line works. Wherever the sun is first coming, is where your signals will first come in. As it gets more towards, you know, daylight and you start to see the sun kind of coming up more up in the sky in a different area, you should start to pick up signals from that area. And then when there's light all through the sky, you'll pick them up pretty much everywhere. That's how gray line works. It really does. It's a fascinating time because it allows you to, if you know how to work it, you know first, just look for the light. If you look for the light in the sky, that's the direction the signals should come from and will come from. Then, as it goes more north or more south, you'll start to hear signals go that way. And, and it's a pronounced improvement. You'll hear signals go up two or three S units quickly. And sometimes they'll be that way for maybe five to ten minutes. It's a short period of time, but then it will drop back down. Gray line is when you make those real special calls. That's why hams love them. They've loved them for decades. Most didn't understand gray line, but now we understand it pretty well and how it works. And it's your best friend if you want to make DX calls. Let me get to you folks here on the comment stream because we had so many kind people. I'd like to thank some great folks that were part of the show. First of all, Kilo Romeo Oscar Echo, excuse me, Kilo Romeo Zero Echo, Thank you for being part of the show today. Same with Whiskey 6, Whiskey, Whiskey Delta. Thanks for being here. Happy New Year, Ward. Kilo Charlie 1, Romeo Oscar November. Thank you for being here. Kilo Delta 2, Romeo Papa X-Ray, New Jersey. Thank you. And see again, look how it worked. 
Southern California, okay, Whiskey 6, Whiskey, Whiskey Delta, south from me, okay, from my area here, actually, that's uh, south and west. So south and west, and then slowly it started to come up. Remember, it went Whiskey 6, Whiskey, Whiskey Delta, then all of a sudden it was Las Vegas, and it ended with New Jersey. That's how Gray Line works, okay? It will slowly work its way up. In the summer, the exact opposite. You're going to pick up northeast first and start to go south from there. That's Gray Line. It's a beautiful time. It is. So, Jonathan, Happy New Year to you. Bergs as well in Sweden. Thanks for trying to make it work. Eric, always a pleasure to see you. You know that. Gunter, my brother from another mother. It's good to see you as always, man. I think the world of you. Thank you. Dennis, good to see you in Michigan. Thanks for coming to the channel today. Appreciate that. That's very kind of you. Ryan, thank you for being here. Lee, thank you. And thanks for the heads up on the amp. My amplifier is about three, four feet from me, literally. And, and because of the way the studio is set up right now, it's hard. And I do watch the numbers, the, the meters carefully. Of course I do, but but it's nice to have a second set of eyes. Lee, thank you so much. Ryan, thank you very much for being here as well as Carl, our new extra, extra get read all about it. Nice work, Carl. That's great. Ryan, well done. Thanks for being here, my friend. Ward in Southern California, you did the right thing. You kept the right radio. Lee, thanks again for being here. Same for you, Dennis, Sean. Thanks for being here. I talked about uh, not hearing anything at the moment. That's how radio goes some days. It is. That's exactly how radio goes. And you can see a propagation report that says good. Let me explain good. Good is a 70-foot tower with a directional antenna on top of it. You will work good every time. Do you have the money for it? Most don't. Most of us don't. But there's hope. People work dipoles all over the world. The thing is, most people want to make those calls quick. They want them to happen right now, right now, right now, right now. Get all those numbers filled up in their log. That's not how radio works. Ham radio and DXing is a patient man's sport. It is. You have to be patient with it. It's not going to be brilliant every time. In fact, most times it might not be. But you can work the world with a wire. People have done it for decades, so don't give up. And don't think you can't be on the air because you have a compromised antenna. The fact is, get on the air. That's the main thing, okay? That's the main thing. Nice <laughs> nice comment from Lee. Look at this. When I met my wife 40 years ago, she asked me if I was saying CQ or seek you. Well, in the French language, some people will say it's from the French language, CQ. Okay, meaning seeking out you. I don't know how accurate that is. I just heard the story. Yeah. And thanks again for the reflected power. You were right. And uh, someone was wiping me out. I want to wipe them out. Where are they? Just kidding. Just joking. Kevin, thanks for being here. Yep. CW, all digital modes are strong right now. FT8, run your FT8. You'll make great decks calls all over the world. I just like to do it by phone because I like to hear the person's voice and get to know them better. That's just me. Yep. Clint, what a treat. Man, that was that was, you made my day right there. Clint in in uh in Oxford, UK. Clint, thank you. This is a New Year's gift. Alex, thanks for being here, man. Thank you very much. Uh Sean, which website do you use for MUF figures? There are a bunch. Okay. DX Heat has it. So does DX Summit. Okay. Another one to use is if you if you simply search M U F figures worldwide. Just search that in your, your search engines. You'll find locations that will show you maps where M U F figures are listed. For example, when I was show prepping this morning about six fifteen, I was looking, and all of a sudden in in Asia, it, you know, M U F was like at seventeen or eighteen point something, and here it was literally like about six point four. Okay, it's because of the amount of sunlight they had there. So. You know, worldwide it does change, but you try and delicately balance where it will be the same in two places if you're trying to work a certain place. If you're looking for like an island or perhaps you're looking for a country somewhere, try and look at Grayline. Grayline's a good tool. And once you figure out how it works, 
You can make the calls because they'll be there. They'll be there. People will be there trying to make the calls too. They will. That's a great question. Yeah. And uh, let's see, Martin from the Netherlands. My goodness, what a joy it is to hear you. Yes, what a joy. MFJ 1786. Yeah. You know, it's a great beam. That's a great directional. Uh, I'm trying to get my 1788 up now. Oh, no, sorry. You're talking about the loop, the mag receive loop and transmit loop. That's a brilliant product. It really is. And the fact that you can run 150 watts on it is really cool. I like that loop. I really do. Gunter, he's he is very, very studio. Gunter's cool. Uses a rain cutter as an antenna, and the antenna is the radio. There you go. There you go. Not bad. Use what you have. I think it's important. I know a good friend of mine in, in Cuba who uses what he can. And it's an old East German transmitter and an old receiver. That's how he does ham radio. We've made contact before using a wire at 20 feet, 18 feet, something like that. So it can be done. Very small housed over here, back garden, only five meters. Use an MFJ 1786 in the attic. That'll work. That'll work, Martin. You will work the world there. Just be careful. Uh, good, good. Yep. Yeah, and that's good. Prefer any beacon before web, web SDR stations? Yes, I agree with you. If you go on your phone looking at web SDRs and you start to tune them in, that's not going to work really well. Tune in your beacons. Beacons are really easy to tune into because they're always there. You just take a look and find out which one's transmitting to know where the DX window is. Gunter knows. He works great DX. That's a great comment from someone who works a lot of good DX, okay? Uh, Happy New Year to you, too, Jay in New Jersey, and thanks for making the call today. What a treat it was to meet you. And uh, let's see. Lord, he needs supper time here. Sorry about that, Gunter. Don't mean to go long. I didn't want to go to get up this early. Let me say that, but I did. Equinox now by sticks, by the way. It is, yeah. So is Grand Illusion. I like the, uh, hmm, I don't know. I, Equinox was good. Grand Illusion was good. Both really good albums. Absolutely. Yep. Okay. Any other comments? Where can I find your other channel, Larry? Well, that is at YouTube with us, believe it or not. I haven't done anything there for a long time. I really haven't. And I did something yesterday over there. <laughs> I forgot to change the settings in the production software. I was starting off CQ calling over there. Brilliant. Sauerkraut. Mit Wurst. Very good. That sounds actually pretty bad right now because it's breakfast. Oh, well. All right. Well, guys, you know what? We need to get scooting along because we are going to, um, we're going to go walk because I'm a bit sore. Gray line is a great time to work. Whether you're working DX or you're working transmit, learn how it works. The best advice I can give you is look, learn, and listen. Those three things. You look first at the forecasts, where they are in the world. You can look at MUFs on maps. That's the first thing. So you look. You learn. So you learn what the frequencies are working. And then you learn where the beacons are. Find out where those beacons are. Then you listen to them. If you can hear a beacon at 100 watts, you'll hear that, that CW tone. Then you go and you hear it at 10 watts. Now you know you're open to that continent. It's really useful to use. Learn to use beacons if you want to run on uh, DX work because it'll help you tremendously. Web SDRs are great for entertainment, I think. They're wonderful to listen to, but they aren't necessarily how you want to work DX at all. Use the beacons because they're there for a reason. They're there to tell you when that window's open to that part of the world. They're pretty cool. Everybody, Happy New Year. Thanks for being here. I'm sorry the show was so long, and sorry for the distortion on the audio. It's tough to do this show with the power here. When the K4 arrives, it will be different, and it'll be a learning experience for me too, because it's going to be a new radio, totally new design, everything for me. So we'll figure it out together as a team. How's that? Thanks for being here, everybody. Ham Radio Live is here to help people get on the air, and those on the air help maybe with some new product reviews and Learn a lot of stuff about ham radio products that could make your shack better. It's my honor to bring you the show every single day. And I appreciate you hitting the subscribe button. We don't monetize the channel. From Eric, my good buddy, Kilo 3 Echo Lima Golf. And from the Netherlands, Papa Echo 9, Tango India, Germany. 73s to everybody. God bless you. Have a wonderful Saturday. Goodbye, everybody.